Does the Active Directory make you want to cry? Does user management make you want to bang your head on the keyboard? Well, fret no more, because when Active Directory breaks you, you can just break it. In this video, we're going to explore the fundamentals of Active Directory pen testing and some essential tools that you need to know. Active Directory acts as a central hub, managing user accounts, computers, groups, and permissions for Windows domains. It determines who has access to resources. Understanding how users, groups, and permissions interact with the Active Directory forms the foundation for effective pen testing. Compromising the Active Directory grants access to the entire network, making it a prime target for attackers. It opens the door for privilege escalation, lateral movement, and is crucial for a complete kill chain. So let's talk about PowerView. This PowerShell module lets you gather information about the Active Directory environment. It can be used to illuminate user accounts, groups, and computer details. Groups allow managing permissions for multiple users efficiently. There are also domain controllers that you want to look for. These store a ton of user data and authentication requests, which can be used later. You want to look for ways that you can use techniques such as credential harvesting, exploiting weak password policies, and abusing misconfigured group permissions. You can also use tools like Bloodhound to help visualize the Active Directory structure and to identify places of weakness. Now let's get into the fun stuff. Use tools like Rubius to interact with Kerberos protocols. This is the authentication system for Active Directory. Rubius is kind of like a skeleton key, which allows attackers to forge tickets and bypass security measures. And then there's Mimikatz. This is basically the Swiss Army knife for all credential harvesting. You can extract passwords and other data from a compromised system, which allows attackers to gain a foothold on the network. So what are the most common misconfigurations within the Active Directory that hackers exploit? Weak password policies, easy to guess passwords, lax password complexity. All of these things make it super easy for attackers to crack into accounts. Overly permissive groups. If regular users belong to groups with excessive permissions, of course attackers are going to target it. They're going to use privilege escalation. It's as simple as that. Unnecessary service accounts. Unused or poorly secured service accounts can make it easy for attackers to move laterally through the network. Disabled security features. No multi-factor authentication. No account locks. If these extra layers of security aren't implemented, it's so easy for attackers to bypass them. So remember, don't hack other people. Be sure to practice in a controlled environment, in a lab, maybe you're studying for your OSCP, and make sure to get explicit permission for whatever you're doing. This is not all inclusive of how you can attack an Active Directory. It can be a powerful skill set. By understanding common Active Directory misconfigurations and using the right tools, you can become a more effective security professional. So go ahead, break your Active Directory, but do it ethically.